one of our investors. Bring in, one in uh, James Tracy, who's here from the Stubbs Gazette. James, just raise your hand so I know where you're sitting. You believe that 2017 is going to be a crucial year. Tell us why. Yeah, well, firstly, I was very surprised that in 2016, there were actually only four registered judgments awarded in favour of the vulture funds. Now, at Stubbs Gazette, we, we believe that that figure is going to explode in the next 12 months. And there's a number of reasons for that. Uh, the, the first reason would be that I think there is currently about 250 cases currently uh, with the courts that have not been adjudicated on yet. So a significant proportion of those will end up with judgments. But, and secondly, and I think more importantly, is that the central bank have brought out figures that show that 38% of all of the mortgages that are owned by the regulated bodies are over 720 days in arrears. Now, depending on uh, who you believe or what you read, there are between 45,000 and 90,000 mortgages that are currently owed, owned by the funds. So whichever way you look at it, there are tens of thousands of these mortgages in serious arrears. Um, but also when, when funds enter a market like Ireland, and we heard in that documentary, um, they go in, they spend a number of years there and then they get out. Five years is their lifespan, isn't That's it? typically their turnaround. Now, when they came over, uh, when most of the funds came over around three or four years ago, they encountered significant regulatory and, and, and legal obstacles, um, including the fact that they, they were kind of uh, impaired in how they, de they dealt with the, uh, the, 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 the debtor. Um, so under the Consumer Credit Act and the Personal Insolvency Act, because they were not regulated bodies, they were kind of restricted in dealing with the consumer. So it took them probably about two or three years to get their feet under the table. And but do you, you believe they're reaching end game now? Is that what you think? I think so. And especially like the, the panel have spoken about the, uh, the new credit services, servicing firms that the uh, unregulated bodies are currently using. Now there are about two major ones in Ireland and between the two of them they probably employ about 6,000 people. So they have the scale now to really okay. ramp up the efforts over the next couple of years. Do you agree years. with that, Ross, that this that 2017 could be a very significant year in terms of activity by these funds? Yes, I would say so. I mean, this problem at 